Alrighty, hey there guys, Adrian Kaz here, aka Jennifer95, coming at you guys with a, another video. So I meant to do uh, this last night in discussion of basically everything that's happened with Madden over the last, it was supposed to be 24 hours or 20 some odd hours by that point, but obviously now we're like going on to hour number 40 something, like we're, like I think we're in 46 maybe, but time this video comes out. Uh, so Madden's been out for a couple of days, right? So... I'm just going to just get talk about everything that, you know, give you guys an unofficial update of where I am with my, with the Seahawks team team at the moment, as well as just talk about stuff that is going on that, and also about the game that is caught my eye and definitely this does need to be talked about. So, uh, so start with this, with the, with the team so far, here's what we've got going at the moment. Now, obviously you don't have a whole lot because you know, coins are very, very hard to come by right now. Hopefully I can get this done, have this team organized and fully finished by the end of the weekend uh, and by going into next week, which also reminds me, guys, I will not be streaming this week. Uh, we are here where I'm living under another heat wave and um, with the house that I'm living in right now and the um, air conditioning that, in, especially in the room that I'm in, it's not really a great idea for me to be streaming. So I will be back up streaming hopefully next Monday night at 7 p uh, se around 7 30 p.m mst which will be about 9 30 eastern time so be on the lookout for that link to the twitch in the, the description below uh so as you can see right now we're at 42 out of 40 uh out of 50 right now uh now these team captains being pushed up will obviously once i get these two finished will be put to uh, when I get these to 85, we'll be added to the squad to be 44 out of 450, which uh, I still have to get guys like Franco Harris um, as uh, for this team. I also got to get Quandre Diggs, uh, Jamal Adams, uh, LJ Collier, which will put me, uh, you know, up there a little bit as well. Uh, then we also got guys like Richard Sherman coming out this weekend for Legends, I believe. I think it is this weekend. I'm not sure if it's going to be this weekend or the week after that. Um, and then we also have, you know, Tariq that I still definitely need to pick up as well. That card, Tariq Woolen right now is insanely expensive. Like he's like 400, like I think 300,000 coins, which is kind of insane. Um, I'm not going to get the team builder for the Seahawks. I'm not going to, I'm not going to get Joey Blunt's team builder. Cause I think the gold card is good enough right now. And plus two, I'm not going to go spending like 400 K coins on a free safety that doesn't even have good zone coverage. So he won't even be very good in my scheme. So I, I'm not even going to bother uh, picking up uh, him. I'm also not even going to bother picking up Ethan pocket because, because uh, since we do have to give him a Y for team captains, uh, there's no need for me to have um, him as my center, my starting center. I still got to also get Damian Lewis as well. So the goal, hopefully by the end, uh, like, like next week, or at least for the very, hopefully for the very first Seahawks team team lineup update is to be 50 out of 50 for this team. As obviously there is still quite a bit I need to grab. Now, with that being said, let's touch on everything that has happened with the news and whatnot going on. First off the server crash. Now I know the servers were pretty, pretty bad. Um, a couple of days ago, like they were just straight up terrible. I'm gonna back out and put myself in a game for you guys while I'm while I'm talking about this stuff. Um, so yeah, the game the the servers were really really atrocious for a couple of hours on. I believe it was yeah it was Wednesday. It was atrocious, like absolutely horrendous of how bad the servers were in my opinion, unexcusable. Um, with how bad it was sure let's just put on the favorite team's game oh wait hang on a second there we go okay um you know what we'll just do that we'll just do this instead but absolutely horrendous uh the the team the the servers being uh bad and in my opinion not excusable i don't care if this like obviously it's uh, it, it's a good and bad look i saw people in the pat mcafee show talk about it it's a good and a bad look at the same time. It's a good look because you got so many people wanting to play your game and buy your game and willing to get on and, you know, who were committed to the pre-order aspect of the game. But it's a bad look because obviously, you know, it, it creates bad press, right? Like if the servers are down and people can't play for exploited amount of time obviously that's going to create a lot of people you know getting a lot of people po'd about the game and then you're going to have people you know talking about how mad is terrible and all that shit which i mean i'm not going to really sit there and say that the game is bad or good i believe personally it is very 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 way too ridiculously very early to comment of the game is good or bad but i will touch on some things that i do think are really really good as well as uh things that could be problems and uh things that are not really that good as well but 
uh, here in a bit. But I do think that it overall, like, Madden 24, like, it's off to a rocky start. Like, I'm not saying it's a good start. It's a bit rocky overall. But I do think that, you know, the game has definitely... It does have a lot of promise. Now, for the good things I'd like, obviously, I do like the um, defense. I, defense right now does feel in a very good spot overall in terms of, like, you know, coverages and all that stuff. Um, I do think defense is all right. Uh, run defense does need to be approved a little bit. Mainly, that's just because the run blocking is insanely broken, but we'll touch on we'll touch on that when we get to it. Um, but defense right now is really, really good. I think for MUT purposes and specifically... QB releases being a li all pretty mid, I would argue, and it's probably just a hot take for me, I would argue that's a good thing because if every single one is mid, none of them are really standing out as like, oh yeah, this is significantly better than everybody else's release and so therefore because of that not every you know it, it'll make people be more uh, have more variety with their quarterback decisions as well as you know stuff that they do in that nature. Um, also, um, you know, when it comes to Mutt right now, like there are some pretty good things going on with like the field passes and stuff. I think the field passes are pretty solid right now. I, and also the team captains with Mutt specifically is a W. Um, the fact that they made it to where you can get all team captains this year instead of having to pick one. I thought that was fantastic a change and I hope they never fit change that back because quite frankly, it is a really, really good change, uh, overall. Uh, in terms of like tackling and whatnot, you know, the tackling is still as good as it was in the beta. It really doesn't look like that's been changed a whole lot. Run blocking is really, really good. You know, that seems like that hasn't been changed much from the beta either, which I know a lot of people were expecting that to stay the same, I think, or even change a bit. You know, presentation overall, I'm not a really big per uh, perpetuator of, you know, presentation is a big deal. I personally couldn't care too much about the presentation if it was a similar or like a very generic like presentation type of thing throughout the year, uh, throughout the years. But I, I will say that it actually does look pretty solid overall. Refs on the field, I really could care less about, but you know, I'll mention it as a good thing because I know a lot of people were really giving a shit about that and were you know, whining about it till their dying breath that they there needed to be refs on the field. So now we'll talk about things that could be a problem moving forward that I do think will be, and should and should uh, very well will be addressed. Kickoffs apparently are way too insane. Um, apparently there's been a lot of people that have been able to house call touchdowns uh, with kickoff returns. And, and while I do think it is a problem and I do think they will address it, one thing I will say overall is we are especially in mutt using like really really low overalls in terms of goals for back for kickoff returns right because our backups get put on the kickoff teams for the most part like our their second stringers and whatnot they go on this they go on the kickoff team right more than likely those guys are not going to be that fast or very good at tackling so they're they're obviously it's going to be a little bit more different in terms of house calls uh for the for um special team like you know coverage and whatnot but i think they will adjust to special teams overall and specifically the kickoffs, I do think that it will be changed once, you know, especially once we start getting better players um, for promos and whatnot. Uh, run blocking, I did say it was really, really good, but it's bordering on overpowered at points. Uh, sometimes it really just feels like the offensive line is just really, really good at picking up guys, um, which I think is fine. But the defense doesn't really show much of a fight to get out of that and, you know, try to get you know, setting harder edges and making it to where they can get to the backfield and, you know, um, you know, corral the ball carriers or maybe hold the run to like a minimal gain at times. It really feels like that isn't the case at, every now and then. Uh, more often than not, the line, offensive line is just overall dominating the line of scrimmage when it comes to running the football. So I think that might be addressed a little bit as well. Um, now, something now something I will say that I personally think is is a is something that i think is an issue but i do think what i do know will be addressed over time and that's the fact that there's a lack of abilities now i know a lot of people are very very hyped about the fact that there's no ability there's not very many abilities and you know they'll argue to their dying breath that abilities are the worst thing about this game and they've absolutely killed mutt and killed madden and well i'm not going to get into that conversation in this video if you guys think that's a good thing that there's no abilities that's fine i would disagree i think abilities are not a problem um i think it's just the fact that people 
are, you know, insistent on, you know, they don't like it because of certain reasons, be it like for KOs, it is a bailout sometimes, which I, I get uh, for the most part. Um, but the but the counter argument I would say to that is, well, do you want to just relieve everything up to RNG, right? Like, do you is that what you want for that for abilities? But I think once abilities start coming in more, we start getting quarterbacks or not quarterbacks, start getting you know guys, especially on the run defense, start getting guys with like run uh, like inside stuff, no outsiders and all that stuff. I think once we start getting those type of players more consistently, I think the run game will be a little bit more manageable in terms of the defense against it now it might take a little bit of time for some of some players because some players like myself are theme teamers um but it will be pretty sought after for like run stopping players like with you know inside stuff and stuff of that nature uh another thing that i think will be a pro it is a problem and i think will be addressed is qb accuracies i think quarterback accuracies right now are all over the place a lot of people have complained about the fact that qb accuracies are pretty bad um I think it will be addressed over time, not necessarily because EA is going to change anything with quarterback accuracies. I think it's just because right now, again, a lot of people are using quarterbacks that don't have good throw under pressure ratings. They don't have good accuracy ratings. And also, they may not have good throw power. That's another stat. that That's a stat that a lot of people overlook sometimes when it comes to quarterbacks is throw power. You know, being able to get the good zip on the ball and stuff of that nature. A lot of people, I think, are overlooking that. So I think once we start getting better QBs that can get some get higher accuracies, as well as some dead eye abilities like long range, roaming, dashing. Once we start getting quarterbacks that can get some throwing, uh, some accuracy abilities, I think the accuracy issues might start to dissolve a little bit. Um, but right now, everything is being left up to RNG, which is hilarious. But, you know, again, conversation for another video. Anyhow. Uh, another thing that I think could be a bit of an issue going forward um, that I probably will get adjusted and probably um, probably won't be at the same time maybe is quarterback scrambling. I don't know if they're going to be able to effectively change it to make it to where, um, you know, it's going to be harder to scramble out of the pocket because a lot of people do want a mobile, well, not a lot of people, but there are a decent amount of people that might prefer a mobile quarterback scrambling type of a year because, you know, considering what we had last year with everybody having to be a pocket passer, um, which I personally didn't mind that, um, you know, it did take skill last year to roll out and actually figure out and actually figure out ways to get out of the pocket and scramble and maybe get some, make some plays downfield. Um, but I think people might be more resent resentful to being another year of pocket passers. Me personally, I, I wouldn't care less. I could care less to be completely honest with you. Uh, now let's talk about the bad things the, the like the really, really, really bad things that absolutely need to be looked at potentially and maybe addressed, but they could probably fall into the last category. The first one is the pass rush overall, even on a base four man rush it really does not feel like you're getting to the quarterback consistently. Now, again, maybe that's because we don't have guys like edge threat that have edge threat or double or nothing or stuff of that nature. Maybe it is because of that. Who can really say, but it is noticeable how much time certain quarterbacks have in the pocket, especially against mediocre to below average offensive linemen at times. It does really like stand out to how like bad, how much time you are having in the pocket at times. Um, another thing I will say that I think might be a bit of an issue um, overall is the um, aggressive catches. It seems like aggressive catches are still a thing as well. Pardon me, I had a little bit of a hiccup there. Aggressive catches still seem like there might be a little bit OP in some ways. Um, Kobe Parkinson gold card for me has been absolutely killing it, and I don't know why. Um, in terms of like aggressive catches and stuff like that like so there have been a lot of times where i've just thrown it up to him and he's come down with it and it's crazy because you know kobe parkins is not that good of a tight end well i mean he's good but you know he's not like you know travis kelsey or george kittle or or even like a darren waller right now so i i do think they'll change the aggressive catches i do think that it should be addressed but Again, I feel like once we start getting more KOs and stuff of that nature, I think that things will be completely different. Uh, and then the last thing I want to talk about that I do think might be a bit of a problem going forward, if they don't address it, and I, I literally had it, I was literally remembering it, and then I completely forgot it. Um, uh, 
Oh, it's the, it, uh, it's the dropped interceptions. Again, this will probably be something that will go down and start to deter and start to disappear once we start getting pick artists, which I think a lot of that is the reason why people are the issues with the game right now. It's just because of the fact that there is ability that we don't have certain abilities for specific things. Sorry if you guys heard the door open. My wife's walking in, but uh, that's going to do it for me, guys. If you guys have anything to say, let me know in the comments. But uh, until next time, I'll see you then. Peace.